uh, today we will be driving the formula P pressure of the gas uh, pressure in the form uh, P is equal to 1 upon 3 mn upon Vc square average. Now first let me explain what are these initial stands for. P is for pressure of the gas. M is for mass of a single molecule of a gas. N is number of molecules. V is volume of the gas. And uh, from a previous lecture, you know. This is the mean of square speed. Mean of square speed of molecules of the gas. So these all terms are explained now. Uh, P is pressure of the gas. M small is mass of single molecule of a gas. N capital is number of molecules. V is the volume of the gas and C square average is the mean of square speed of molecules of the gas. Now let us drive this formula although uh, this derivation uh, never comes in exam uh, but we have to drive it because it is very much in the syllabus. Now let us first consider suppose uh, I am considering a cube I am considering a cube suppose uh, this is the cube each of whose length is L This is the cube in which ideal gas is confined as L, this is L and this is also L. So its volume must be L cube. This is equation number one. Now this is the volume of the gas as V is equal to L cube. Actually the volume you know from the primary level uh, the volume of the gas is always equal to the volume of the container so V is equal to L cube. Now clearly the area of this phase or an area of this phase must be a must be l square now if there are suppose uh, suppose there are n molecules of the gas now each molecule must have a different velocity that is the uh, first postulate suppose for one molecule it has a velocity c now if it has a velocity c it can be resolved in three components x y and uh, z component uh, x so suppose if this velocity c is a vector, I can represent it by cxi plus cyj plus czk. Now this is the velocity. So uh, the square of the speed must be equal to cx square plus cy square plus cz square from element d vector algebra. Or you can just verify because these two are perpendicular this is also mutual perpendicular so magnitude uh, square must be c square is equal to cx square plus cy square plus cz square this is the uh, square of the speed is equation number two now if you consider one single molecule of the gas suppose if you consider a single molecule which has mass m and first it travels towards left with velocity suppose cy this is the y component y axis I can take this as an x axis this is suppose y axis and this is z axis as we usually have the uh, convention for this one mm -hmm. so along uh, uh, suppose I'm considering just a molecule which is moving or which has a, a vela uh, vertical component of velocity uh, sorry uh, uh, a velocity component along y axis is c1 now it has a mass m so its initial momentum P1 is minus M C Y. Why minus I have taken? Because it is moving towards the left, so momentum must be negative. When it strike, it collides with this face and it bounces back, then it's it, uh, because it, a collision must be elastic. Its speed uh, uh, component C must be same, so P2 must be M C Y. So what is change in momentum? It will be M C Y minus minus M C Y. So it becomes delta P is MCY plus MCY. So delta P comes out to be 2MCY. This is the change in momentum, equation number 3. Now when this is the change in momentum, now I have to find the pressure. 
I have to find the pressure of the gas. Now pressure is always equal to force upon area. So I first want to find the force. Now force is always rate of change of momentum. So I have to find, uh, our, it is the number of collisions of the walls of the container per second. So let us see what is the momentum change in one second. So for one collision, there's a time for one collision is, time for one collision is, Clearly, the length is 2L, 2L divided by C1, C1. So, time, so, if, uh, so in one second, number of collisions will be clearly Cy upon 2L is a frequency. Or you can just divide uh, by for finding the force divided by this time. Or now you can multiply. The force must be equal to uh, delta P, ch rate of change of momentum, I can say 2MCY upon 2L upon CY or I can just write this 2MCY, 2MCY into CY upon L. So force coming out to be 2MCY square upon L. So this is the formula for the force, it's the equation number 4. Now, this is the equation number 4 formula for the force is 2MCY square upon L. Now, I have to find the pressure of the gas. Now, pressure of the gas, pressure of the gas is given by always force upon area. I already have found the force is 2MCY square upon L and divided by L square because area is L square. So pressure will be 2m cy square upon l cube. But l cube from equation 1 is v. So p is equal to, uh, it is sorry, it is uh, uh, 2m cy square upon l. So pressure will be equal to now 2m cy square upon l. Uh, and the time is also 2l upon cv. Uh, so there was a mistake here. 2L upon CV, 2 is cancelled with this 2, so force is actually MCV square upon L, size was a calculation mistake, so force is MCV square upon L, not the 2 MCV square upon L, so force is, so I can have this pressure is MCV square upon L, so it's MCV square upon L cube, or press, pressure is MCY square upon V, there's a formula for the pressure for a single molecule, but since there are N molecules, so I can say, Total pressure along y axis m upon v, I can say c1 y square plus c2 y square plus c3 y square plus cn y square. And suppose I'll say so p is equal to m upon v. If I go uh, for the um, uh, average or the mean square speed, I can say it must be n into what? cy square mean of the square speed along y axis so p is equal to m upon v and cv square this is equation number four now now let me explain again up to equation number one first see i consider the uh, volume uh, sorry a cuboid of um, uh, a cube of length l so its volume is v so v must be l cube now suppose there's a, a single molecule to the velocity c so its velocity has x component, y component, z component, it becomes c is equal to cxi plus cyj plus czk. So square the speed is c square is equal to cx square plus cy square plus cz square. Now since I had to find the pressure exerted by this molecule on the wall of the container. So pressure is force upon area. I'll find force by change in momentum. First consider when it is moving to the left with velocity cy. Uh, along the y axis. So P1 must be minus MCY because moving to the left and then P2 is MCY. So change in momentum comes out to be this one. Now time for one collision is 2L upon CV. Why one collision? Because it covers L this distance and L this. So 2L divided by the speed is 2L upon CY. So in one second number of collisions will be CV upon 2L. This is the of this. So force is always equal to rate of change of momentum. This is just the change for one collision. So change for these number of collisions in one second will be multiplied by this, or just you can say uh, f is the rate of change of momentum. This this divided by this time comes out to be force coming out to be 
m c v square upon l now this is the force exerted by one molecule on the face on this face or on this face whatever you think now pressure is always equal to f upon a so according to that pressure must be equal to f is m c square upon l divided by l square it comes to be m c square upon l cube l cube is v so p is equal to m c square upon v now when p is equal to m uh, p is equal to m upon v uh, c1 uh, c1 y square plus uh, i can say this is the pressure for single molecule if there are n molecules each will have a different velocity or different uh, y square component uh, so i can say p is equal to m upon v c1 y square plus c2 y square plus c3 y square and this one i can just this, this is the total uh, sum of square speeds so i can say it is total if there are n molecules n multiplied by it will be the mean of square speed so m uh, p is equal to m upon v and c is square with this one now up to this if you have understood then the race becomes easy now now suppose for the race thing i can say i can say okay uh, this one p is equal to, uh, now simply uh, if i say k c square is equal to c x square plus c y square plus c z square similarly if all these things are being added i can say n c square must be equal to n c x square average plus n c y square average plus n c z square average n is common so c square average coming out to be cx square plus cy square plus cz square now since there are very large number of molecules so actually all these components are almost equal cx square is almost equal to cy square almost equal to cz square mean or the square speed suppose i am taking them equal to cy square because i have to replace this equation so i can say c square average is equal to cy square average plus cy square average plus cy square average so this is c square average is equal to 3 cy square average or i can now find this formula so cy square mean of c square cy square is equal to 1 upon 3 c square now this is equation number 5 so put this value so p becomes equal to m upon v n into 1 upon 3 c square average so this is the formula p is equal to m n upon v uh, 1 upon 3 m n upon v c square average this is the formula which was to be proved now this is very simple to prove although the derivation is long but you had to first uh, for, suppose take a cube in which each side is length l so its volume is v is equal l cube now each molecule has a speed c uh, sorry suppose one molecule has a speed c then it must have x component y component z component we find that one then we proved that average also if c square is equal to cx square plus cy square plus cz square uh, so if there are total n molecules then i can take this one and this average will be this one but uh, i can suppose these components are equal x component y component z component equal because i am justified in taking that one why because there are very large number of molecules so i can just say c square is equal to 3 cy square so 3 uh, cy square will be 1 upon 3 c square now first find the change in momentum and then the time then rate of change of momentum of the force uh, and then pressure is force upon area that the pressure find for one molecule then find the pressure for total number of molecules and they take the, use the relation uh, this relationship uh, you get this relationship and that uh, and that that is the end of the uh,